I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about getting really, really organized. Because if you're organized, that is going to allow you to deliver the best client experience possible. If you are not organized, you have not set that solid foundation in your business. And the solid foundation is what really allows you to grow. So in 17 Hats, we have three main steps to getting organized. And you're looking at the first step right here. This is called the dashboard. And the dashboard was designed in a very specific way. It was designed so that you can sit down at your computer first thing in your morning with your cup of coffee, open up your computer screen and look at one page to know exactly what you need to take care of in order to run your business. No more pulling up first your email and then your calendar and then your to-do app and then your contracting app and then your bookkeeping app and then your scheduling app. It's all going to be right here because if everything is in one place, that's going to allow you to be productive. It's going to allow you to be efficient and it is uh, going to make sure that you don't lose any of the information that you need. So let's take a look at these different sections that we have. This is the first section that we have right up here. This is what is called a five day quick look. This is everything you have coming up for the next five days. So you can sit down and have a solid snapshot of exactly how booked your days are for the next five days. Then we have this section right here. This is recent client activity. This is going to be the last five things that have been completed inside your business. Could be an invoice sent, could be a contract sign, perhaps a questionnaire has been answered. It's all going to appear right here so that you have a really great snapshot of exactly what has happened in your business recently. Then we have this pending item section. This is all the pending items that we have hanging out there. So for example, we have 10 quotes that still need to be accepted. We have a contract that still needs to be signed. Everything is listed in one place, which makes it really easy to know exactly what you need to follow up on. We've got 26 invoices that are past due and 34 questionnaires that still need to be answered. But my favorite part of the dashboard is this let's take care of business section. This is what really allows you to sit down and look at one page to know exactly what you need to do inside your business. We've even taken the, uh, the liberty of color coding it for you. So we have this red group right here. This is going to be the first batch of tasks that you need to take care of. So those are going to be your top priority when you're starting your day. Then we have these gold items right down here. This is going to be the second batch of tasks. And then finally, these green, green items right down here. Let's take a look at these in a little more depth. The first one is um, always going to be your new leads. New leads are the most important thing in your business. So we are going to list them first. They're the first thing you need to take care of when you sit down and start your day. We have this new lead that came in for Opal. We need to respond to her. Next, we have 13 contracts that are requiring our signature. We need to get these signed and fully executed so that um, our clients are official. Then we have that contract that's past due. We definitely need to go ahead and remind Christian that he needs to sign this contract if he wants to secure our services. We have 22 invoices that are past due. I like to pause on this one because I hated dealing with this in my business. I hated following up with clients when it came to reminding them about um, the, the money that they had that they owed me. Does anybody else feel that way? I know that sometimes it can be really stressful to sit down and draft that email reminding somebody that they, they have to pay you. So now all I have to do is flip open this section and then I can hover over this little um, line item right here. I hit the remind button and just like that, there is an invoice reminder sitting in my client's inbox with a link to their invoice. It makes it so easy to follow up with my clients about their past due invoices. Then we have 12 workflow items that we need to approve. These workflow items are keeping us progressing through our client experience. So you're always going to be on the ball. We've got seven quotes that are past due. Um, we have to follow up on those and see if people would like to move forward. We have to-do items that we need to take care of. There's nothing better than having an empty to-do list at the very end of your day. So 17 Hats is going to put that all right here for you so you know exactly what you need to accomplish. Then we have our green items, which are our questionnaires that are past due, and we have a scheduled email that's going to go out. So this is your dashboard. This allows you to sit down and look at one place to know exactly how to start your day in the most productive and efficient manner possible. Step two of getting organized inside 17 Hats is a contact. 17 Hats is a contact-based platform, and what that means is that everybody you communicate with in order to run your business should be a contact inside 17 Hats. Your leads, your clients, your networking partners, other vendors you may work with, all of them should be contacts inside 17 Hats. And part of the great part of 17 Hats being a cloud-based platform is that we have two amazing apps. 
one for iPhone and one for Android, and they, they're both full functionality. So you have the power of 17 hats with you on the go. If you are out and about working on something for your business and you need to quickly look up a contact's information, it's all going to be right there. You can even send an invoice from the app or you could um, send a contract from the app. So it untethers you from your desk and it allows you to go about working um, on your business without feeling like you have to be locked in your desk chair all day long. Let's take a look at one of these contacts. We have January here, and we can see that January is orange. That means that she is a lead inside 17 hats. If she were green, like Jacqueline, she would be a client, meaning she'd signed a contract or paid us. This is January's contact card, and you can see we've got our contact information listed right here. We have some notes that we've taken about January listed right here. We've recorded her dog's breed and her pet's name on the contact card. This contact card is a great snapshot of the information that we need to know about January in order to work with her. So this is step two of getting organized inside 17 hats. All of the contacts, everybody that you work with listed in one place. Because again, if everything's in one place, you're not gonna lose the information that you need. Step three of getting organized inside 17 hats is something called a project. The way to think about the organization of 17 hats is like an old school filing cabinet. You pull out that filing cabinet drawer and hanging on that drawer is your green hanging file folder. That is your contact. Inside your green hanging file folder are your manila folders. Those are your projects. You can have more than one project per, per contact. For example, I am demonstrating today using a dog walking and dog spa service company. Currently, we are looking at January's dog walking project. We can see that right here. Let's switch over and look at her spa service project. This is just another service that she has contracted with us. So all of your projects are just the services for which you have been contracted. We're currently looking at January's spa service project. We can see that right here. We can um, see again her contact information is all listed right here. We have this section, which is what's coming up in the next seven days. This is a great section. It's everything you've got coming up for the next seven days. So that way you can hit your deadlines and really um, amaze your clients with how responsive you are and how you nail every single deadline. We have the important document section right here. This is going to be everything, um, your lead capture forms, your quotes, contracts, invoices, and questionnaires all housed in one place. There's nothing more annoying than when you're trying to search through your email inbox for that contract that was signed two or three years ago. Now you know exactly where that information is going to be and it's easily accessible to you. Keeps you really, really organized. And then this section right down here of the project is my favorite. These are many little breakout sections of the project. The first one that we can see right here is the notes section. This it was life changing for me. When, uh, as, you, as you heard me say at the very beginning of this demo, I had no system for taking notes and I have to take a lot of notes to run my wedding planning business. And so I was constantly losing the information I was collecting from my clients and it was a nightmare. Now, every single note that I take about my clients goes in the 17 Hats Notes app. It makes it really easy for me to reference back information. And I even know exactly when I took that note in case a question comes up. Then we have the email section in 17 hats. At the higher levels of membership in 17 hats, we have what is considered a true two-way sync when it comes to emails. And what that means is that when you email a client, you, that email will be stored on the project. When the client responds to your email, their response will be stored on the project. But the really cool part is that 17 hats can look inside your email inbox and pull any new email chains that January has created by looking for her email address. So all of your communications with your client listed in one place makes it really easy to stay organized. We can upload files like JPEGs or PDFs for your internal use. We have the to do sections. This is the stuff that used to wake me up at 3 a.m. because I would never write it down anywhere. I was storing it just in my brain. Now, every single to do goes on a specific project inside 17 hats. So I know exactly what I need to do for my clients and when I need to do it. We have events in 17 hats. Events are anything that would go on a calendar. It can be a phone call or a Zoom meeting or an in-person meeting or part of your service delivery. So anything that would go on a calendar. 17 Hats has a two-way sync with Google calendars and a one-way sync with iCal and Microsoft calendars. So what that means is you can see your 17 Hats events on your external calendars. We have the booking section. I'm gonna go over that at the very end of the demo today. It's our online scheduling functionality, very similar to Calendly or Acuity. We have a phone log. This is a really great tool to use in order to track um, your profitability. If you're realizing that you're having to make 
50 phone calls for every um, service that you've contracted, then you need to price yourself accordingly. So this is a great way to track exactly how many phone calls you are making for your clients. And it also gives you a little bit of peace of mind so that you can say, nope, I gave you a call last week. I'm just waiting on your return. All right, so let's recap three main steps to getting organized inside 17 Hats. The first step is going to be your dashboard. Everything that you need to do in order to run your business listed in one place so you can be really productive and really efficient. Step two is going to be your contacts. Every single person you communicate with in order to run your business will be listed as a contact inside 17 Hats. That way all of their information is in the same place and you won't lose any of it. Step three is going to be your projects. These are just the services for which you are contracted, all of them listed in 17 hats so you know exactly what is going on in your business. Now I know that this is a lot of information, so I want to show you how quickly you can add a new contact, start a new project, and send an invoice because that is usually what people want to do when they first sign up to 17 hats. They just want to get an invoice out the door. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the contacts tab. I'm going to add a new contact. And because I am just looking to get um, a new invoice out, I'm going to keep this pretty simple. I'm going to do a basic contact form. I'm just going to add a name. I'm going to add an email. And then we can go ahead and fill in the rest of this information later because we just need to get this invoice out. So I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to create a new project. And this is going to be a puppy play session. And I can fill out the rest of this information later. I don't need to do it right now. I'm just getting an invoice out the door. So I've started, created a contact for Tilly, started a project for the puppy play session. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit create new, whoops. And I'm going to choose invoice. And I do have a template saved for my puppy play sessions. So I'm going to go ahead, oh, my mouse is acting up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose that invoice. All of this information is populated automatically. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit say, send invoice, templates, choose my email template. And just like that, Tilly has a new contact started, a new project started, and her invoice has been sent. Now let's take a look at Tilly's project again. It's a lot emptier than January's was, right? And that's because 17 Hats is pulling the appropriate information onto the projects so that we uh, are able to, so you're able to stay really, really organized. As you're working with your clients inside 17 Hats, 17 Hats will automatically populate the appropriate information onto the appropriate project. It may, it's like 17 Hats is doing your filing work for you. All right, so we've covered organization. You've seen how easy it is to get started in 17 Hats. You can easily pop a contact in. You can easily uh, start a project and get that first invoice right out the door. So now we're gonna talk about the magic of 17 Hats. And the magic of 17 Hats comes through systems and automation. And the way that I'm gonna talk to you about this today is by talking about something that we all have in common. We all go through the same four phases of our client experience, no matter what kind of a business you run, whether you rent chickens or you're a photographer, we all go through these same four phases. The first phase is going to be your lead phase. This is where somebody's inquiring with you. It's where you are having a, a consult. Um, it's uh, your first meeting time. So that is uh, your sales pitch time. So that's the lead phase of your client experience. Then you move into the booking phase of your client experience. That's where you're sending out your proposals, your um, contracts, your invoices, and somebody is officially becoming your new client. Then you move into the onboarding phase of your client experience. That's where you're collecting the information that you need um, in order to provide your services to your clients. That is where you are introducing your clients into working with you in a more in-depth way. So that is the onboarding phase of your client experience. And then you move into the fulfillment phase of the client experience. And that's where you're actually providing the service for which you are contracted. So no matter what kind of a business you run, we all go through those same four phases. And I'm going to demonstrate the magic of systems and how automation can give you hours back in your day by taking you through the first two phases of that client experience. I'm going to take you through the lead phase and through the booking phase. 
And while I'm doing this, I want you to think about how you're currently handling these situations. When a new lead comes in, do you know exactly what you need to do in order to, to work with that lead? Do you have a response that goes out automatically so that in case you're away from your desk, that lead is still being responded to? Um, do you know the steps that you have to take and when you have to take them? Is it a consistent experience for every single lead that comes in? So think about how you're currently handling brand new leads inquiring with you about your service and how 17 Hats might be able to help. All right. In 17 Hats, we have something called a lead capture form. Lead capture forms are just contact forms. They can be embedded on your website. They can be linked to social media. They can be sent out via email. So they are just contact forms. And they're very customizable. You can choose exactly which questions you want to ask right here. Um, you can ch uh, choose how you want a response to go out. You can customize them. So they are very, very customizable. And I have one pulled up for us right here. What I have right here is a new lead form and Emerson is filling this out for us. Emerson is going to be a new lead inquiring with us. Um, and so you can see that our lead capture form has, is very professional. It's got our logo right up here. We've selected a blue background, but you can choose a transparent background if you're embedding it on your website. We can customize the button and button color. We can customize our font and our font colors. So they're very, very professional and they're very, very clean. I like to pause on this question right here, which is what are you interested in? And the reason I like to pause on this is we all should be asking this question on our lead capture forms. If Emerson here is interested in the spa service, this is not the time for me to be sending her a bunch of information about my walking service. It's not enough to just respond to your new leads. You have to respond quickly. We know that your leads are inquiring with three to five of your competitors at the same time they're inquiring with you. It has to be a professional response and it has to be a personalized response. Emerson here needs to know that I am listening to her from the very start of our communication. She has to know that I care about her business and I care about her as a client. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit submit. And then we're going to jump back over to 17 hats and I'm going to show you what has happened inside the platform. The first thing we're going to do is that we can see that Emerson has been created as a brand new contact and a brand new project has been started for her. I'm going to go ahead and open up that project. Oops. And we can see that this is the project that has been automatically created. We've got our contact information stored. We can also see that a questionnaire has automatically been sent to Emerson. And the reason we recommend doing this is because it's part of our qualifying process. If Emerson here is very interested in our services, she's going to fill out this brief questionnaire. If she doesn't fill out the questionnaire, she's probably not quite as hot a lead as we initially thought. So let's take a look at the email that sent the uh, questionnaire to Emerson. Again, we can see it's super pro uh, professional. It's got our logo right here. It's personalized. We're using Emerson's name inside the email. We're specifically referencing the service that she was in interested in. We're even doing a little bit more qualification where we're saying that on average, our clients spend $350 for this service because as much as we want to be a good fit for Emerson, Emerson needs to be a good fit for us. And now we can scroll down and we can see that we've actually sent Emerson a questionnaire. This is the questionnaire that we sent and you can see even the questionnaire is personalized. So Emerson has a dog named Felix. Oops. And Felix can be seven. And oh, seven. And uh, we're going to describe a little bit more about Felix here and his personality. We're going to say that he loves to run around and play. Um, he's often the bossiest dog on the playground. Maybe he is a schnauzer. That's a that's kind of a tough little breed of dog. They're usually the boss. Perhaps he has um, skin conditions. And we also know that he loves all, all dogs. So that's great. That's really good for a spa company. And finally, we can see that oh, some concerns, we're asking about concerns that Emerson would have about Felix at the um, spa. And we know that uh, Felix has a beard and the beard needs a little extra trimming. And so we're gonna take care of that uh, for Emerson when she sends her dog to our spa. So this is the questionnaire. Keep an eye on these answers because 17 Hats is going to do something really cool with them. Emerson is now going to submit her questionnaire. Let's see, we're going to hit send. And then we're going to jump right back over to 17 hats. And actually, the very first thing that I want to show you is on the dashboard. We can see that on the dashboard, this recent client activity updates in real time. Uh, the last we looked, we had just sent the questionnaire. Now we can see that we've completed the questionnaire. So let's go back over to her project. 
And remember how I told you to keep an eye on those answers? 17 Hats actually took some of our most important questions and created notes out of Emerson's answers. So 17 Hats is doing that transcription work for you. No more copying and pasting. Let 17 Hats do that work on your behalf. So it created these notes that we have right here. The other thing that it did was it automatically stored Felix's name and Felix's breed on Emerson's contact card. That's information that we know we're going to have to reference over and over again. So we're allowing 17 Hats to do the work of storing it for us in the appropriate place. And the way that this is all happening is through something called a workflow. A workflow is just a glorified to-do list. It is the repeatable set, of state, uh, repeatable set of steps that you take in order to provide your service to your clients. Rather than writing down those steps on a piece of paper or on your whiteboard, if you create them inside as a workflow inside 17 Hats, then 17 Hats can take some of those actions on your behalf. It's that back end busy work that slips through the cracks, that takes up all of our time. Let 17 Hats do it for you. For example, 17 Hats automatically sent this questionnaire for us. The next two steps of this workflow are things that we need to do as the business owner. We need to pick up the phone and call Emerson to follow up on her inquiry and her question. And the goal of that phone call is going to be to book an in-person, in-dog consultation. So let's jump back over to Emerson's project, and we're going to pretend I'm calling Emerson right now. So I can check off this task from my workflow. Luckily, the call is going really, really well. And while I'm on the phone with Emerson, I can decide that I can talk about booking a consult. And I can open up my events tab, and I can click add an event, and I can call this a consult. And we can see that my afternoon is actually booked. So let's take a look at tomorrow. 17 Hats is showing me my availability while I'm on the phone with Emerson, adding this event to my calendar. It makes it really easy to book. And we can see that tomorrow is clear. So let's do that 8 a.m. consultation. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna hit save. And so now I can check off that step of the workflow. I'm gonna jump back over and look at this workflow. We sent the questionnaire, we called Emerson and we booked our consultation. The fourth thing that happened is 17 Hats automatically started a second workflow. So 17 Hats is keeping us moving through our client experience. That way we're not gonna drop the ball on, every, on anything. We are going to be the ones directing the client experience. We are gonna be in control. Our clients aren't going to be in control. We can see that the first step of this new workflow is that I need to send a confirmation email. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to hit review. And this is the email template that we use to send our confirmations to our clients. The way that all of this um, uh, personalization is happening automatically is through these green fields right here. These are called tokens. And 17 Hats has a huge list of tokens that you can use to insert information automatically into your emails. But the really cool thing is that 17 Hats allows you to create your own custom tokens. So for example, we are a dog walking and dog spa company. We created a custom token that is our pet's name because we know we're going to want to insert that information into emails over and over and over again. This is what allows us to truly create email templates that take this, that takes this work off our plate completely. So I'm gonna hit send now. And then I'm gonna jump back over to the project and we're gonna take a look at that email that just sent. This is the email that we just sent to Emerson and we can see it's been personalized. It has her name in there. It has the date and time of the consult. It has Felix's name in here a couple of times. So from Emerson's point of view, this is a super personalized email. From our point of view, we didn't have to do any of the work to personalize it. We just had to press send. All right. So the next step is that we are actually going to pretend that the consultation is happening now, not tomorrow. And 17 Hats is reminding us we need to add notes about anything that we learned about Felix during our in-person, in-dog consultation. And so one of the other things that we learned was that um, Felix has really sensitive skin and needs to use fragrance-free products. That's something that's really important for us to know. So we have to record that as a note on our project. I'm going to hit save. We've got that information recorded right here. So now I can check off that step, which was create notes. The goal of our consultation was to book our uh, spa service. And the consultation went so well that Emerson decided she definitely wants to move forward with the spa service for Felix. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to check my calendar, check my availability. I'm going to do that by adding an event, click add an event, and then we're gonna call this a spa session. And let's uh, remember that Felix has that sensitive skin. So I'm gonna add that note to my event. Let's take a look maybe at Thursday. 
All right, Thursday, it looks like I have an 11 a.m., but that means I could do an 8 a.m. spa session. So that's great. Again, 17 Hats is pulling the avail availability for me as I'm booking this on my calendar. Oh, so I've booked this spa service on my calendar and I can check off that to do. Let's jump back over and look at this workflow. We confirmed our consultation, we created our notes, we added the spa session to our calendar. So the next thing that happened is 17 Hats knows at this point, we we're moving out of the lead phase of our client experience and into the booking phase of our client experience. And so it has started a third workflow for us automatically. Again, keeping us on track so we don't drop the ball on anything. Let's jump back over. And the first step of this third workflow is going to be to send a quote. I'm gonna hit review. This is the quote template that we have created for our spa services. All I need to do is hit send quote. My email template is already populated. I hit send now. And just like that, Emerson has a quote sitting in her inbox. All I had to do is click two buttons. Let's take a look at what this quote looks like for Emerson. This is what it looks like on her end. We can see they're very easy to understand. They're very clean. Um, we can see that we have, have different sections on these quotes. And right now the quote total is at zero. That's because Emerson needs to make her selections here. She's going to choose the deluxe puppy love package. And then of course, she's gonna add on some premium puppy treats. Let's see, maybe three. And you can see this is updating as we make these selections. Definitely a puppy bow, of course. 17 Hats knows which, which items are taxable and which are not, and it's updating accordingly. All that Emerson needs to do now is hit accept. And just like that, this quote has been accepted. The other cool thing is that we didn't just send a quote. In one email, we sent a quote, a contract, and an invoice. Doing this makes it so easy for your clients to work with you. And that is part of the goal of 17 Hats. 17 Hats is meant to make it really easy for people to work with you. The easier it is to work with you, the more business you're going to get. So in one email, we sent that quote, we sent that contract and we sent that invoice and that eliminates any of that, that sort of ping pong back and forth stuff that happens. So for example, maybe you previously would have sent a quote and then they accept it and send it back to you. And then you have to create the contract and then you have to send it back over to them and then they have to sign it and then they have to send it back over to you. No more of that. It's so easy to book your services when you send a combined document like that. So let's take a look at this contract that is automatically available now that the quote has been um, approved. And these are really customizable. So we have uh, different sections that can be initialed. We have text sections. You can have people opt into things. You can even have people add an emergency contact if you want to, or fill out different forms like this. And then right here, Emerson is going to sign and sign contract. Oops, I have an apostrophe in there, sign contract. And great, just like that, this has been signed and it is legally binding. The other thing that is so cool is that this is all mobile friendly. Your clients can book you from their phones. No more of that, oh, I just need to get back to my computer. Nope, they can book you on the go. Again, it's making it really easy to work with you. So next, we're going to view the invoice. This is the custom invoice that was automatically created by the selections that Emerson made on the quote. So if she had made different choices, this invoice would look different. 17 Hats is doing that automatically for you. So it makes it a breeze in order to get paid. 17 Hats does it allow for online payments. We integrate with three different pay payment processors. Um, our two most preferred are going to be Stripe and Square. They were designed for small business owners, but we do also integrate with PayPal. If you allow online payments, you just click the pay invoice button. This little window pops up, your clients can enter their credit card and then your invoice will be paid. Rather than entering credit card information on this demo, I'm gonna jump back over to 17 Hats and I'm going to show you how easy it is to mark an, an invoice as paid if you get paid by cash or check, because that does still happen sometimes. All I have to do is open up this invoice. Right now it says open. All I have to do is open the invoice. I hit record payment and we can pretend that this is a check that she paid with. So we have a reference number and we chose the method of check. I hit apply. And just like that, this invoice has been marked as paid. And now we can see that on this page, the invoice has also been marked as paid. It makes it really easy to know exactly where you stand with your clients. Okay, I'm gonna go over one more thing and then we're going to uh, jump to questions. I wanna talk to you guys about online scheduling in 17 Hats because it is amazing. Online scheduling in 17 Hats is very similar to Calendly or to Acuity. 
Uh, this is what a booking looks like inside 17 Hats. We can see it's for Amy. We know what type of a booking she made, and we know exactly when it was made. We also know that we've confirmed this booking. We have the Zoom link already generated. We've got all of her contact information. And this all appears here on the bookings tab. It appears on your calendar and it appears on Amy's project. The benefit of 17 hats is that lots of information appears in lots of different places. It makes it really easy to know exactly what's going on with your clients from lots of different views inside the platform. From this view, we can also reschedule the booking or cancel the booking. But let's see how this is set up on the back end. In 17 Hats, we have two different levels of online scheduling. We have basic online scheduling and advanced online scheduling. Um, what I'm going to show you right now is our advanced online scheduling functionality. When you are setting up, your the back end of it is the same. So no matter whether you have basic or advanced online scheduling, you have a service that you offer and the window within which you want to offer that service. So the service could be a 30 minute consultation via Zoom and the window could be Wednesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. So no matter what kind of online scheduling you have, that's how it's set up. The difference between basic and advanced is some of the functionality that comes with the online scheduling. With advanced, you can um, uh, integrate with Zoom. So those Zoom links would be automatically generated and the bookings would be actually populated over to your Zoom account. You can allow for payments when it comes to booking. So if you're booking, allowing your clients to book a service that has a price attached to it, you can require that they make payment before they're able to select their date and time. So there's just a little bit more functionality with the advanced online scheduling versus the basic. Let's take a look at one of these Zoom consults. I want to show you a 30 minute consultation via Zoom. This is embeddable on your website. You can link this to social media um, via a URL shortener. You can send these links out via email if you don't want this published um, for public access. So there's a lot of flexibility with how you're gonna get this information out to your clients. So this is what it looks like when you embed it on your website. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose next Tuesday. It looks like it's my first available at 3 p.m. And I am going to add a brand new contact this is not somebody who has been inside 17 hats yet. Um, and we are just going to do quick contact information. And she's looking for dog walker. We have these terms of service. These are customizable. You can also turn them off. It's up to you. She's going to hit agree and then she's going to book. And this is the confirmation page that has been generated. So you can see right here we have a little um, like message, confirmation message, your, the Zoom URL has already been generated. This will send a calendar invite to Carrie and the Zoom link will also be on that calendar invite. So let's jump up back over to 17 Hats and see what has happened. You can see that 17 Hats has created a brand new contact for Carrie and started a brand new project for Carrie. That's all right here. 17 Hats online scheduling can send automatic reminders to your clients a day and about one or two hours before the event. So uh, reminding your clients is off your plate. You're not gonna have those um, no shows anymore. It makes it really easy. The other thing that's really cool is that 17 Hats can actually trigger a workflow from online scheduling. So if there's a set of steps that you know you need to take before, during, or after, whatever that service is, 17 Hats can automatically trigger workflows that will remind you of all those steps that you need to take. So that is 17 Hats. 17 Hats is here to get you organized. It is here to create systems that will allow for automating parts of your business. 17 Hats is really here to support you throughout your entire client experience. So that is what 17 Hats was designed to do. It has made a world of difference in running my business. I look like I am much more organized than I actually am. And I hope that you all um, decide to give it a, a look. A couple of things that I want to chat about really quickly before we open to questions. I want to show you some great resources that we have for you. This is our 17hats.com pricing page. And what I really like looking at right here is this breakout chart. This chart is going to show you the difference between all three levels of 17 hats and all of the functionality that is allowed at each level. So for example, let's say that you are really interested in those workflows. You thought that those were magic. You, uh, we have some level threes here, so that's why I'm bringing this one up. Um, and maybe you realize you want to have all the bells and whistles with workflows. So you can go to this chart, you can look at it, and then you can click on this line and it will show you exactly what that um, functionality is, what that feature is, and give you a little bit more information. So I would absolutely encourage you to take a look at this section on our pricing, uh, pricing page.
The other thing is that we don't do a standard seven day trial. There's so much functionality inside 17 hats. It really does have a lot of capability. And so we realized that doing a seven day trial really wasn't the way to go. It wasn't allowing everybody to experience all of the magic that 17 hats has to offer. And so what we decided to do was we decided to do a trial that has no time limit. You can sign up and try any of these three levels by clicking the try it free button right here. And then you are able to completely set up your 17 hats account and you can have up to three free projects. So you could have a project that you use for testing where you're adding your personal email address as um, the contact and then you're creating a project and going through all testing all of your templates testing all of your workflows on that project right there. And then you can have two projects where you're working with actual clients if you want to. This allows you to really experience 17 hats in a very in-depth way. But then if you decide it's for you and you want to add that fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, whatever project, then you can sign up for a paid version of 17 hats. So that's how the trials work inside 17 hats. I certainly hope you'll give them a try. Again, all you need to do is just click on this try it free button right here and you'll be able to um, get logged in and, and, and use all of the functionality at any one of these three different levels. So go ahead and, and give it a, a go that way. All right, I think it's time for questions. What questions do you guys have right now? Pop them in that Q&A section. Okay. Can I go over the bookkeeping feature? Yeah, sure. So bookkeeping is uh, available, has different capabilities on different levels. So you'll, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down and you're going to want to keep an eye on this um, reporting feature right here. This gives you a little bit more integration, uh, a little bit more information on bookkeeping, but then I can also show you a couple of other things in here. Let me this and also this money section right here shows you a little bit more about bookkeeping, but let's take a look at it. So this is our bookkeeping functionality. You can add an integration to um, uh, QuickBooks Online if you want to. And so that uh, I, I believe that that is an add on module. So that would basically sync all your 17 hats information over to QuickBooks Online. The other thing that you can do is you can connect your bank accounts. And what that will do is pull all your transactions from your bank accounts into 17 hats. So that's another option. But you can see this is um, sort of what it looks like overall. We don't have any bank accounts attached to this one because it's our our sort of demo or testing account. We have some reports that can be automatically generated. Profit and loss report is a good one. This is what we use in America to pay our taxes. Um, we can also uh, look at things like your client sales. So you can see exactly what you've sold in a given period per client. So for example, Sarah Beth has paid three invoices and paid this amount of money. Um, we have some other things like our product sales, so you can see which products are making um, the most money for you. So this is a little overview of our bookkeeping functionality, but I actually have a recommendation for you. I'm not a trained bookkeeper and I'm not very good at bookkeeping in general. We have a support team member named Jeff. And he is amazing and he is a trained bookkeeper and he helps all of our, our clients with their book, all of our members with their bookkeeping questions. So I would recommend if you've got specific questions about bookkeeping, um, click on this little green chat in the circle in the bottom right hand corner and then uh, write in and actually this little circle right here is Jeff and he's awesome. He will be able to answer any of the ins and outs. He knows more about bookkeeping than I could ever learn. So if you've got specific questions about bookkeeping, write in. He will automatically grab that chat and he'll be able to answer them in a way that I just fear I would not be able to. But this is what the bookkeeping functionality looks like. It automatically includes any invoices from inside 17 hats. Again, you can link your um, your uh, bank accounts in there if you need to. And then you can also integrate it with QuickBooks Online and just go ahead and you can look at the money section and then you can also look at the integrations section that we have down here, that kind of thing. So that will give you a little bit more detail. If you're really interested in using 17 hats for bookkeeping, level three is probably the way to go. So just so you guys know. What other questions do you guys have? While you're thinking about them, I'm gonna pop a couple of links into the chat just so that you can have them. The first one's gonna to be to that pricing page. And then the next one is also going to be to our Instagram. We do a lot of business education there. Um, we show tips and tricks for how people are using 17 hats. So that's a really fun one. And then also I put a link to our getting started workshops. They are awesome. You can be on a trial. You do not have to be a paid member to join our free getting started workshops. Basically what they are is I introduce you to different functionality inside 17 hats. 
again, it's a big platform. So we want you to get set up correctly. The first, it's a series of four. The first one is all about um, getting your account settings set up, making sure you know how to navigate the platform, talking about creating templates, that kind of thing. Then the next one is about setting up your lead capture forms. And then the one after that is about setting up online scheduling. And then the one after that is about setting up your workflows. So you do not have to be a paid member. I would love to see some of you guys on the Getting Started Workshop. They're really fun. You pull up your 17 Hats account in one window and keep the Zoom in the other and we sort of work through things together. I love doing those. So those are the links that I just popped in there. And I realize I've gone a little bit over. I apologize for that. Any other questions before I sort of wrap things up? And again, if questions do come up, go ahead and write and click this little green chat button in any of the 17 hats windows and our, our business support team will be happy to help. We really are happy to help. So Zoom integration is only for number three. So the Zoom integration, let's scroll back down on this. Um, Zoom integration can be added on to level two it's, or it's included in level three. It's part of our online scheduling advanced uh, functionality. So it's automatically included there. The other thing that's included in the online scheduling advanced is the ability to take payments uh, for the, um, at the time of booking. So if you wanted to do a level two, you could do that and just have the Zoom integration be an add-on. We've tried to make it as flexible as possible um, so that people really aren't paying for the functionality that they're not using. It's, it's important to us that even if people are just in the very beginning stages of running their business, they still have the power of a CRM behind them, the power of an automation platform behind them. So that's really important to us. Any other questions? I really appreciate everyone's time today. I know time is so precious. So I appreciate you spending about the last hour with me hearing all about 17 hats. I would, ooh, there's, uh, I would love to see some of you maybe on the getting started workshop. And, and I'd love to see if you guys are, uh, I'd love for you guys to give those trials a, a chance. I think that it's a really get, great way to explore the platform. And again, there's no time limit on it. So if you're, if you just want to take your time and find the one that's right for you, then 17, that trial is a really good way to do it. But I would love to, I'd definitely love to see some of you guys on the getting started workshop to go a little bit more in depth on things. So it's really, really fun.